What's going on guys, Hardware Junkies here and today we're going to be bringing you a video on how to jailbreak your Amazon Fire TV. So this app that we're going to be using today is called Cinema APK. It'll get you movies, it'll get you TV shows absolutely free and we're going to show you how to install that. So to start, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the home screen on your Amazon Fire device. From here, you're going to want to go over to the settings tab of the device. Go ahead, go down, and go all the way over to My Fire TV. Once you're here, you can click on that and go down to Developer Options. Click on that, and here you're going to want to turn on ADB Debugging, as well as Apps from Unknown Sources. You're going to click that, go ahead, click on Turn On, and that will enable that. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and hit the Home button on your remote to take you back to the home screen. Once you're there, you want to go to the search bar in the top left, the little magnifying glass symbol. From here, you can go ahead and type in downloader into the search query. So once you get a couple of letters in there, it will pop up in the bottom in the suggestions. So you can go ahead and click on downloader. Now that'll bring up a results page for you. So from here, you're going to click on the orange app called downloader that looks just like that, the one that's highlighted on the left here and go ahead and click on that. When you guys click on it, it's going to take you to the download screen and you're just going to hit download. I already have the app installed, so when I click it, it's going to launch the app for me. So once you guys go ahead and hit download from the download page, it'll install on your device and then if you don't launch it right from there, this is how you're going to launch it. So you would go back to the home screen and go down to your apps and channels. Go all the way over to the right of that and click on see all and then inside here you should see down oh, not YouTube. Oops, let's go back to the home screen there. Um, like I was saying, you would go your apps and channels, see all, and then you just find the app called downloader and go ahead and click on that. Once you're in here, you're gonna go ahead and click in that um, little box in the middle where it says HTTP. So go ahead, click on that, and then you're going to type in the following link. It's cinema. APK. Dot com. And then once you do that, you can go ahead and hit the play button on your remote to go. That'll go ahead and connect you to the following website. And once you're on the website, you're going to go and just scroll all the way down the page here. Keep going. It'll give you instructions. And then, right, I think it's step two right here where it says download the latest version APK file. You just got to get that red marker to highlight right on top of it. And once you do that, you click the center button, it'll click that link, and it should start to download that onto your device. There it goes, so it's connecting. Downloads. <clears throat> once that's done, it'll bring up this screen here. Go ahead and click on install. That'll go ahead and install the app onto your system. And once that's done, you can go ahead and click on open, and that'll launch the app. Now for um, normal scenarios, if you turn your TV off and you need to relaunch the app and you can't find it, um, it should start to pop up in your recents once you use it a little bit, but if it's not there, again, you go down to your apps and channels, go all the way over to the right, go to see all, and then it should be down towards the bottom, cinema, free is the icon, it has a little movie ticket, so you would just go ahead and click on that. Once you're in the app, you can go ahead and sort through um, the TV shows, the default home screen that you would click on. So you can go through, find a uh, TV show that you'd want to watch. At the top here, you can see where it says popular. If you click the little arrow next to it, that'll bring down a chart with all the different ways that you can sort through your TV shows, and it'll display them in that order. Um, then if you wanted to watch a movie, you would go ahead and hit this little hamburger menu in the top left corner, which is the three lines. Click on that and that'll bring up this side icon. 
you can go to movies from there. Again, you also have histories, history and favorites. Um, you can go and find your downloads here as well as your settings. So um, we're going to show you the movies tab real quick. So once you're in here, you can go through, find the movie that you want to watch. So let's say um, we wanted to watch The Grinch. You can go ahead and click on it. And then from there, that's going to go ahead and load up. Um, right now, uh, this one's not out yet, so we can't actually find the movie itself. But um, let's say we wanted to watch um, The Meg here. You can go ahead and click on that. You can see the loading icon in the top. Um, that means that it's searching for links. So you can actually click that play button. It'll get highlighted with a little square around the play button. And you can hit that and that'll play the movie. But the, that's just gonna pick the first link. So if you hit play and you start getting some buffering issues, you can actually keep going down in the screen and it'll bring you up all the different links that you can try. Um, so if one's not working, you just try another one until you find one that wants to work. So to play a movie, you can just go ahead and click on this link. Google video links are actually really, really reliable. Usually they don't have a lot of buffering with them. Um, I'm not sure about the other ones at the moment, but again, that's something you just kind of play around with until you find one that works. Usually you can find it within like the first three. So you would go ahead, click on play, and that'll bring up the movie and it should start playing. So as you can see, our movie's playing there. We're gonna back out of that. And then we'll be back at this screen here. If you wanna search for a movie, you can do so in the top right hand corner here. Um, just go all the way over. You have to go across the movies themselves and then just go up one and you can click on the search bar and you can search for whatever movie or TV show that you wanna watch. Um, and there's also that filters um, so you can filter by year. Um, and that's about it for this app guys. Uh, if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, you can comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as quick as possible. And if you want to see more, you can subscribe down below. See you later.